this uh, video, I will teach you how to break vectors in the components. There are eight situations that you will have to do when you start dealing with vectors. And as you can see here, we have eight vectors, eight possible. Vector A, vector B, vector C, vector D, E, F, G, and M. Okay? So I'm going to break each one down into components separately so you can see how it's done. Let's look at vector A. The coordinate system. A X, Y coordinate system. Now let's put the vector in this vector in that coordinate system pointing in the same direction. That's vector A. So now the components of these vectors are vectors parallel in, uh, to the x-axis and parallel to the y-axis. We call that A subscript x. cosine of 30 degrees. Turns out that the cosine of 30 degrees is 0 0.86, which gives us a value of 4.3 meters for the x component of the vector. Okay? So the x component 
is 4.3 meters. What about the Y component? Let's do the same thing. A subscript Y, A sine. Let me just put the numbers in. Is equal to 5 meters sine 30 degrees. That gives me 5 meters times 0 0.5 this time. And that gives me 2.5 for the Y component. So there you have it. We have found the X and Y components for vector A. And if you notice, vector A is lying in that quadrant, or first quadrant. Okay? So that's it for that example. Let's look at vector B. We will have to rewrite our equation. So B subscript X is going to be B cosine theta, B subscript Y is B sine theta. And let's draw, let's draw this vector. Let's see what this vector looks like. Um, still using a coordinate system. You see that this vector lies, it's pointing in that direction, so it is going to lie along the x-axis. So this is vector b. And in this case, let's say b again is 5 meters. But in this case, what is theta? Theta, ladies and gentlemen, is 0 degrees. Theta is zero degree. So, using our equation, B x is equal to five meters times the cosine of zero degrees. That will give us five meters. For B x, so B x is five meters, and B y equal to B sine 30 degrees, I'm sorry, sine 0 degrees, and that will give us, uh, let's put 5 meters here, That's 5 meters times 0, which gives us 0 meters. So BY is 0 meters. And if you look at the diagram, you will see that it makes sense. There's absolutely no y component. There's no vector line along the y axis, so there's no y component. So bx, the magnitude of bx is the magnitude of the vector p itself. Okay? So that's it for that vector b.